Hi everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. If you remember on my last video, I compared various types of LED headlights. People were commenting to me, asking me why I didn't include an HID system. It's very simple, I didn't have any HID lights. Well, a company in the States called Victory HID was generous enough to send me the HID upgrade kit. As well, Dean from Alberta gave me his Victory Factory HID system. So I'm going to show you the differences between the two. So let's go downstairs into the workshop and we'll start. The first light we're going to look at is the upgrade kit from Victory HID. This is my stock OEM housing. It is halogen and all you do is replace the halogen bulb with the HID bulb. Then you simply plug in the connectors. The next light we're going to look at is the factory HID light from Victory. This one is off of a 2012 cross country tour. And you'll notice right away the reflectors are different. Here is my halogen reflector and here is the HID reflector. You'll notice they have the HID for the low beam and halogen for the high beam. Even the back looks different. Let me show you the difference in the bulbs. HID bulbs, high intensity discharge. There's no filament inside these bulbs. Instead, it has tungsten electrodes inside a quartz tube. This tube is also filled with gas and metal salts. What happens is an arc will be produced between the electrodes and this will dissolve the metal salts inside creating a plasma. This plasma greatly increases the intensity of the bulb and lowers its power consumption. One of the factors with HID bulbs is that it takes time to heat up and get to full intensity and I'll show you that later. A couple of things are needed to operate these bulbs. One is an igniter and the second is a ballast. This is the D1 model. It has the igniter built into the base of the bulb and the ballast is separate from it. The D2 model has the igniter and the ballast separate. A couple of things we're going to use today. This is a light meter. It will show you the intensity of the light in foot candles. This is a color temperature meter. It will tell me the temperature in degrees Kelvin. It will either be on a yellow side, a white side, or up into the blue side. I'll also show you the beam pattern projected onto a wall. I set up a crude test bench. I took my metal bracket out of my motorcycle and I fixed it to a wooden stand. This way I can put my individual lights in it and they will stay the same. Five feet away from it I've set up a wall. This is where I'm going to use my meters taking my measurements and keeping everything identical. The first light we're going to test is the HID upgrade kit. And this is the factory HID unit. And finally, we're going to look at the beam pattern. I've set up my green screen behind me to act as a wall, and I've got my headlights 25 feet in that direction. This is the HID upgrade kit. Low beam and high beam. And this is the factory HID light. Low beam and high beam. Remember the time delay? Depending on where you live and how you ride, this could be good or bad. Let me show you what I mean. If you're driving in the city, your high beams are off and cold. If you have to flash at someone, this is what's going to happen. If you're in the country, both lights are hot and bright. If you meet an oncoming vehicle, you can turn it off, let them pass, and then immediately turn it back on. 
or if you have to flash your lights you can do that and this is exactly why the victory headlight has an HID for the low beam and a halogen bulb for the high beam it's instant on but for me I'm going to replace the halogen bulb with the LED replacement bulb that I got from overseas it's the same color temperature as the HID draws less power and is a lot brighter so there you have it this is all the data I can possibly give you concerning HID lighting for your bike I want to thank Victory HID for sending me the upgrade kit and I want to thank Dean from Alberta for lending me his factory OEM HID system thanks very much for watching my videos be safe, be seen, and I'll see you next time.